This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. The website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we're going to show you how to replace the screen on a Dell N4010 laptop computer. Uh, this is a newer computer, Dell Inspiron N4010, and it has a 14 inch LED screen. So uh, before you start, make sure you take precautions against electrostatic discharge. So either work with bare feet or feet or with socks on, and or have an electrostatic strap on your wrist. But just if you work with just socks on, that should be enough. The tools we're going to need need are a pair of sharp metal tweezers a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a PH0 bit, that's the smaller bit, and that's all for this. Now, uh, for most laptop computers, in order to release the plastic frame around the screen, there's some screws around, but for this computer, there's no screws, so we just pop off the plastic frame, also known as the bezel, and then we can get to the screen. So uh, let's start. What I like to do is turn the computer sideways and from the screen side, gently pry up the plastic frame and listen for the snaps. If you hear the snaps, that's a good sign. Take your time on this, work very slowly. I hear adhesive coming off, so that's good. So now it's popping off, going very slowly around the screen. Try not to break it. Um, if you do break it, that sometimes happens. That's okay, but try to avoid it. Once again, I hear some adhesive. The adhesive comes off slowly. And we have a stubborn corner here. And the plastic frame is off. So we put the plastic frame to the side and now let's see what we have to do with the screen. So the screws that hold the screen to the metal brackets are on the side so we have to get to them. In order to do that we must tilt the screen forward and in order to do that we need to remove these two screws first and then loosen the screws at the bottom. Not remove them but loosen them. So let's remove these two screws first. Let's see, use the left hand so you can get a better view. Okay, keep all your screws in groups in the order where you took them off on so that you know which screws go where when you put the screen back on. Okay, so we try to tilt it a little bit and let's see if we can access the screws on the side yet. Not quite yet. So what we want to do is loosen these screws at the bottom down here, over here, and over here. Okay, now let's see if we can tilt the screen forward enough to access the screws on the side. And yes, we can. So there's three screws on the side. We have to remove all three of them. Now keep them in a separate bunch from the previous screws. Two and three on this side. Okay, when you start getting the screen loose, be careful that the screen just doesn't fall down on you. So have the whole assembly tilted back a little bit. So if it does fall, it'll fall back, not forward, because there's a sensitive connector on the back that we don't want to destroy. Okay, almost there. And the last screw. And 
and there. Okay, so the screen is released from the metal bracket. So what we gently do is carefully tilt it forward, make sure nothing is getting stuck. And like this. And then we have the connector here that we have to release. So in order to release this connector, we have to remove, lift up this tape very slowly and remove the adhesive from the back of the video cable and gently pull the connector back. And here we have the screen. And this is a 14 inch LED screen with a connector there. So that's what you have to wear. look out for. Make sure the connector is in the same place. Oh, let's see what the part number is. Let's focus. It's a LP140WH1. So when you do a search for the screen, all you need is this part number. LP140WH1. Now, when you find the screen either on eBay or Google, they are most likely send you a compatible screen, which is okay. Just make sure that it's glossy and the connector is in this place and it will work just fine. Okay, so this was fairly simple. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc and the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And I forgot to mention that in order to put everything back, just reverse the procedure and you should be good to go. Okay, good luck.